Beer. Everything outdoors with beer. Take two. <laughs> Rangefinders. Uh, bow hunting's coming up. Camouflage is real important. When you're in a tree, you know how much ranging everything is. I mean, it's when you're doing a rifle and you're doing crazy yardage. Yeah, but I mean, we, I, my eyesight sucks. I can't see f past 50 yards, so I'm not going to shoot anything. But when you're bow hunting, depending on the the pins on your blah blah blah, you fucking know if you're bow hunting. Anyways, a range rider costs a lot. If you want a good one, it really costs a lot. So and some of them make the beeps and noises. You can end up scaring your deer. You do. So they, some get cloudy. Some uh, the cheaper ones are kind of cloudy, just like buying a good scope and not buying a good scope. Uh, you got to deal with batteries. These, if you can get up to your tree stands ahead of time, you can take your string, your whatever, your thirty yard string, and uh, I did that one year. Just tied it to the tree stand, walked around, put little uh, the little fluorescent pins. And I'm thinking, oh, once I get in my tree stand, totally know where they are. By the time I got my tree stand, I can't see 30 yards at a fucking pack of cigarettes if I dropped them, let alone a pin in the tree, so that didn't work for me. Uh, my uncle, or my cousin, he said he would do the same thing. So when you're in a tree, you can kind of judge where the 30 yard mark is or 20 yard. He would take uh, sticks and lean them up against the tree. So if he leaned them this way, they were uh, 20 yards. And if you laid one down flat across it, it was 30 yards. Just so when you're up there, a lot of shit's happening. I, whenever a deer comes in, I'm nervous as hell. So the less that I got to think. That extra uh, field of vision, like that extra little hints here and there, like the tree limb, the, whatever you can like sight out or whatever will help you. Yeah, and uh, as dumb as it sounds, and I do it all the time, get up in my tree, Especially if it's dark or, you know, it's past 10 o'clock and I got to stretch, I'll get up and I'll just pretend, oh, something came out that, how, how slow can I grab that bowl, how fast can I get position, draw back, you know, do the whole thing. You got to do what you got to do. That way, if it does walk out, it's a little bit more muscle memory instead of my brain on overload. Oh my God, is this thing going to give me a chance? Is it going to see me? That's my biggest thing. I can't move. I think that deer's. if I move my pinky, I'm thinking that deer is going to stare right at me and take off. So I, I get petrified, and then as soon as I know I can move, it's usually because his ass is staring at me and he's already walking away. Right. I completely get fucked up, but using a rangefinder is super important. Like I said, you guys bow hunt, you know how important it is anyways, especially on angles. Uh, Sighting the target in your backyard is one thing because the arrow is constantly going to drop. If you're standing on land here and you're shooting at a target here, it, it's got the same arch every time. When you get in a tree, it's got different angles. You're th just working against gravity differently. So it'll fall at a different rate. So having an angle or a range finder and practicing with it is really important. And some of those real nice range finders, they compensate for the archery you've been you know that bow shot it it's not you know it's no longer you know 30 yards from your tree to the target if you have an angle it's going to be farther but it might shoot less because you have less gravity because you're shooting down yeah shooting uphill with, I, i've never had to do it but i could only imagine uh, a lot of you guys on the logging trail if there's a deer below you i don't think it changes too much i don't think it drops too much but if it's above you I, don't, I think that's that's where a lot of people, I don't know, I've never had to do it, so I don't want to learn it. I wish everything was just completely flat. But I keep messing with archery, so I couldn't tell you. But after doing a lot of thinking, we came up with the easiest rangefinder. You can imagine most of you guys probably have one. 
If not, you can go to a store and buy one real cheap. Right here. Stanley. The, the magic uh, rangefinder. You get up in your tree, you got a deer in sight, bam. You get up in your tree, you want to know how far that tree is? Pull that bitch out until you get to a spot. We got some footage of Steve here using it. It actually works. Didn't uh, spook him at all. Didn't seem to spook him. Let's check this out. So you see it works for Steve. It'll definitely work for you too. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Mm-hmm. Alright, that must be one. I mean, it's our show. It's pretty low standard. Right? <laughs> There's not a lot of people watching. <laughs> We're gonna rely on graphic defects. <laughs> okay.